Hello everyone, this is Prakash from Logoland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to turn the sketch of a logo designed by you into a beautiful illustration in Illustrator. So let me show you. This is the sketch I have created on the paper and going to make. So I love it. It is a very beautiful, cute owl. So this video is going to be very amazing. You are requested to be with me till end of this video for understanding of the whole procedure. So let's get started. So uh, here we are in Illustrator. So let's first create a document. So the size I'm going to give it 1000 by 1000 pixels. I'm going to create, click on the create button. So the next step is to uh, import uh, the image, uh, the sketch actually, which uh, I had created. That is on my desktop. I'm going to the desktop. Here it is. So there's two way to import the image. The first way is to just uh, drag and drop into Illustrator. The other way is you can go to the file and you can choose place. It will help you import the image in the same way. Okay. So uh, now after imported after imported uh, after you imported the image now what you have to do first you have to specify this image in particular layer i think this is already uh, went into a layer so i'm going to uh, i'm going to declare this as a template actually okay so let's double click over here dialog box popped up now here you have to check on the template and then uh, uh, let I'm allowing it to be 50% dim okay click okay so now you can see uh, this layer has been locked you cannot uh, move this image so I'm going to create one more layer from here whatever uh, vector art I'm going to create for this owl logo that will design on the second layer so I'm going to give it the name we easy vector after art so let's give this one name to let's give uh, reference ref reference so i have set this as a uh, template because uh, what happens when uh, you're working on uh, uh, some image or reference and you have created some vector art also so when it comes to uh, added points nodes uh, and lines of that work vector art so in order to do that uh, some sometime you may have to switch to the outline mode so when you uh, switch to the outline mode the vector art uh, becomes uh, outline unfortunately the image or reference you're working on that uh, that also got that also got dis disappeared so in order to uh, avoid this situation if you really don't want your uh, image reference not to be disappeared so you have to set it as a template first so i did it already so now it will remain intact and will remain on this place so i'm going to select vector art layer on which i'm going to create my all art so i'm assuming uh, i need a circular tool to create this uh, this logo so you have to make sure which what is the shape actually shape of this logo so i'm going to take uh, ellipse tool so either you can add uh, here to uh, take the tool or you can press l key on your keyboard to access this tool so i'm going to create a circle okay i'm i'm positioning it properly so i don't need stroke so let's uh, get rid of the stroke first so i'm switching this off so i'm going to change the color i'm going to change the color i'm going to replace this white color to to the purple one actually okay this one so in order to switch into the outline mode so what you have to do is first you have to go to the view menu here you can choose outline control y okay control y is a shortcut if i go to press control y again then you will come out of this outline mode if you really want to get into again back there 
into the outline modes again press y so i will keep pressing in this video many time control y to get out of this outline mode and control y to get into the outline mode so i will not go here okay i will keep pressing the shortcut key so i'm i need to position position this properly so i'm happy with its position so next uh, what i'm going to do is i i need to create first uh, its left eyes okay let's go to take uh, ellipse because the eyes are round so i'm going to create round eyes so let's come out of uh, this outline mode i need to set i need to mm, i need to make the contact between these two shape okay let's let's go into the outline mode what's going on so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to change its color i'm going to set the color little uh, little bit lighter to the i think this point I, i think this color is okay this one so i need to uh, create the pupil inside you can see this part i'm i i will need a circle one more circle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this this cell uh, circle and i'm going to copy it copy and paste in place paste in front actually okay now while pressing alt and shift key all together then i will transform to the lower size okay let's see what size we need okay let's increase its size okay so we need to position it on the proper place so according to me this is the right place so i'm uh, leaving it leaving it here i i need one more circle for this part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select and uh, copy this one and paste in front in the same way uh, in the same way earlier on we did so have while pressing alt and shift in order to uh, lower its lower its size and proportion let's come out of this outline mode and let's give it to the uh, black color i think and let's add white color into this okay so it's time to add some highlight over here so in order to add the highlight what we have to do is just go and take a circle and place here so it should be in the white color i think this is okay now let's go into the outline mode back again i need to create the i need to create this uh, spiky eyebrow of the owl so in order to achieve this i'm going to take the help of pen tool so where we can uh, add the pen tool uh, pen tool located here either you can come directly over here or you can press pen key on your keyboard i'm going to press pen key on the keyboard so i hope you know <laughs> the working of pen tool <laughs> so uh, the first point uh, i'm going to put over here i'm going to put uh, first point then i think the curve is uh, going like this so the upper part obviously it's going to be spiky but i am making it little round at the top so the next the last uh, the next point will come over here according to me on this edge i think that's okay so let's unclose the path click on by clicking on the first point let's come out of uh, this outline mode let's see so this is uh, what we are left with so i want this shape to be behind of uh, this circle actually so select this one and uh, cut this and select this one because i want that shape behind this so first select this one and go to the edit here we can press uh, paste in back click on paste in back okay so i don't want it to be the white color i want it to be in uh, purple darker i think that will uh, that will be appropriate and that will look good so let's change its color let's make it even more darker okay i'm happy with the result so far so we have created one eye <laughs> now we need one more eye 
so obviously i'm not going to create manually the other eye so the smart work is to uh, just copy already created eye so i'm going to copy this one and uh, move it here and we'll flip it so select the whole element of the eye and deselect the back part then uh, go to edit and copy okay then move it okay it again copy and paste in place then move it i think i couldn't uh, i couldn't paste in place that's why so moving ahead uh, let's uh, flip it and uh, there's one issue with this eye because this is uh, sticking out of this circle i just want it to be remain uh, remained in this circle like this one so what uh, in order to achieve that effect what i have to do is i will select both the eyes all together let's uh, get rid of the selection of this circle while pressing shift key we have to reduce its we do have to reduce the size of both okay so i think it is okay i think it's okay so uh, next uh, what i want i want i want a cut out here around this eyes and this eye, around this eyes also cut out on this circle actually okay in order to achieve that what i have to do is i will uh, first select this one and this one i'm going to copy copy and then uh, paste paste in place then take it aside here we uh, here we have to uh, combine it so we can use pathfinder unite option so you can uh, come here and you can use this option now uh, actually uh, the i want new object out of this that should be little bit uh, larger than this so what i'm going to do is first select keep selecting the object and go to path and you can use this option offset path so i have created my own actually shortcut so you can uh, you can also go and create your own shortcuts click on offset path so the value i'm going to have let's check already 10 is i think appropriate and uh, looks good in the, with the 10 pixel it is looking good and we're going to click okay so uh, there we have two uh, object this is the old one i'm going to uh, delete this and this is the a uh, new one which we have just created so drag it over here make sure uh, it should fit well around the eyes now what i have to do is i need to reflect it here so in order to achieve that fact i'm going to select this one first and uh, now this time i'm going to use uh this tool reflect tool the shortcut is o so uh, while selecting this and uh, you have to take the reflect tool while pressing alt key now you have to find out uh, find out the center point of this circle so i'm going to find out the center point of this circle here where you can see anchor text now you have to click while pressing alt key you have to uh, click here a window popped up now you have to uh, check this preview button on so just click copy and then select both uh, both the object and then unite them together so select uh, this one now select the this circle which is very behind and come here in the path finder you can go and choose the second option which is minus front just click on this so here we go i like this uh, cut out part okay so uh moving ahead uh, the next part which i'm going to create that is the wing so uh, let's go into the outline mode so i'm using pen tool to create this come here and uh, pick the pen tool let's create a curve like this okay so i just want to uh, get rid of uh, get rid of this pen tool working here so in order to do that we just have to press escape p escape key okay let's come out of this outline mode let's add some other color so that uh, it could be visible to us and uh, this is fill color actually let's switch to the 
straw color and uh, I'm going to set a profile this one okay but uh, the spiky point is going a spiky end is going down I instead I want it to be at the top so in order to have that just switch it okay uh, line is very thick oh sorry very thin so let's increase size I think 20 20 is okay value so uh, it is time to reflect this with a, a proper amount of gap we have to reflect in the same way we uh, reflected here to make the cutout okay just select this one and uh, press O key to get uh, to access uh, reflect tool somewhere here you have to find the center point where you can see anchor text okay now uh, while pressing alt key then click it so now press copy so uh, both are the stroke we need to convert these in the shapes by selecting these go to the object menu here you can click on expand appearance just click on that so select both and uh, select both all together now and select the uh, back shape so this time what i in this time in order to achieve that cut cut out here i'm going to uh, take the help of uh, shape builder tool a uh, very amazing tool so either you can go here uh, you can go here uh, you can press shift m shift m to uh, access that here this is a shape builder tool you can press shift m uh, it is uh, i always recommend when whenever you working in any software so better uh, get habitual of working with the shortcut shortcut always uh, help you help you increase your productivity so i'm going to use this uh, tool so here you can uh, you can see on the screen uh, there's a plus point attached with the pointer so that means uh, if i click on this so this uh, both this shape will be added into this one okay i don't want to add i just want to subtract this part out of this one so we i uh, what we have to do we have to press alt key okay you have to keep pressing alt key then click and drag the part which you want to get rid of click and drag it should not go, go out here otherwise this part will also disappear okay let's get into the outline more what's going on actually wings are actually sticking out stick out sticking out from this point so in order to achieve that what we have to do is let's come out of this let's go and create a circle again make it to the center of main object and let's i think okay so what i'm going to do is just see select this one and select this one i'm going to press shift m to access shape builder tool okay i'm oh, and uh, I'm going to press Alt key and then click here. Let's get rid of this. We don't need any more this one. So this is what we want. So now uh, it is a time to create pause. Let's go for pan tool. Start from here. Quickly start from here. So I think we should start from this point actually. Okay first let's go and make this then we reposition this position of one point here let's so things are very easy so if you are uh, having experience of practicing again and again so designing it designing in illustrator is not a big deal you just have to keep uh, practicing every time control y let's have different colors so that it could be visible uh, and select this one and copy and then paste in so i'm not going to copy it i'm just going to reflect actually in the same way i reflected the eye part i reflected the wing uh, wing stroke here in the same way i'm going to reflect first let's position this in the proper place i think let's take it up little i'm going to enlarge this even more so uh, 
स्केच वॉज जस्ट ए रफ आइडिया एक्चुअली रिफाइनमेंट प्रोसेस ऑलवेज हैपन इन दिकेशन सो आई थिंक दिस पोजिशन ऑफ पोजिशन ऑफ दिस पॉ इज परफेक्ट राइट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू मी सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस वन एंड प्रेस ओ टू एक्सेस रिफ्लेक्ट टूल एंड समवेयर वी कैन फाइंड वी कैन फाइंड the center anchor just click on this and press okay uh, press uh, copy very easy select both the pause and select the main background okay and uh, i need to cut these part in the same way you can see here now press shift m to access shape builder tool press uh, alt key and then cut out so i'm uh, quickly moving forward and going to create bake so i'm taking the help of pen tool i just press uh, p key okay like this and click here like this i think just press okay okay i'm not happy with position actually i'm going to set the position proper it is okay now give it a different color switch to the stroke and let's add black color let's okay now so it uh, this point should be out of this edge actually because we will cut this it should be out of it select this one and let's convert in this into a shape by expanding this expand fill and stroke i think this point is extremely moving down and uh, let's take it back and sometimes uh, we need to we need to tweak the points to to achieve the proper shape I think that's okay. Now select this one and select the back shape. Switch to the shape builder tool while pressing Alt key. Now we have to perform the same. Okay. So uh, let's take to the let's take to the aside here to see what's going on. I think things are going proper. I'm happy with the final result. So let's uh, move ahead to create some hair on its head. i'm going to create some curve okay scape key then black color and then switch to the stroke okay let it add a profile and then the same thing pass o somewhere here we need to find the center point click and okay so this is uh, how we can we can actually uh, position the another object on its proper place with the same amount of uh, uh, gap and uh, alignment also gets uh, better so let's select both and convert those into a shape by pressing ex uh, experience expand appearance actually so uh, i'm going to add one more line in the center exact it should be center so oh sorry select this one switch it to the stroke select this one and and this one select both and alt click on this okay this one this one alt click center so <clears throat> come here and apply this profile and increase its thickness thickness to the 40 point i think okay let's convert this into the shape as well so now i'm going to select all three shapes and select this one so let's uh, make a cut out of it shift m for shape builder tool and then uh, while pressing alt key just cut that out uh, we here we are some points left so let's leave get rid of this point So finally, uh, process of making owl is done. Uh, one thing, actually, we need to 
add that is a text cute text so let's make group out of it so i had make i have make group of it so let's uh, allow it to be the allow it to be the center okay so i'm going to take i'm going to take text tool by pressing t let's uh, type c u t e cute cute text cute owl okay let's enlarge this i'm going to have an adi and nadine okay font one of my favorite font of course <laughs> so i'm going to uh, make it shorten okay okay i think select this one and select this one and make it select this one then i think select both and make a group of group of both make it center so in order to uh, make proper center we can go to the line and here we can horizontal center and vertical center so finally uh, uh, one thing actually uh, we left which forgot to do is uh, i think we should match uh, this text color to this one so i'm going to select this with con with the help of control key because this is a group okay so i'm going to take this uh, eyedropper tool and click on this now so this is the final uh, result uh, in the sketch i have created this one now you can see on the screen this is the final output in the application i am happy i am quite happy with that so that's all for this video i am going to see you in another video with something excited <laughs> thank you thank you for your attention i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and click on the bell icon right down there to get updated videos it motivates me uh, to create even more beautiful video for you you can even comment me in the comment section down there. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.